when I was told I was COVID positive, uh, it came as a shock because I only had fever and I didn't have any other symptoms. First thing that came to mind were the friends and the colleagues that, uh, that I met up with. I was also concerned that uh, if it affected me, it could also affect them. The doctor said that they have to put me through ICU and um, they would need to sedate and intubate me. I almost freaked out because I had heard of many people who were connected to life support machine. They actually never come out of it. There was another doctor who uh, then explained to me that it was to provide uh, basically oxygen and to try to clear my lungs. And then I realised that probably could be the only way to cure me. Can I just clarify this particular case? When I got the call, the first thing that came to my head was he fine? And my second concern is that are the people around him okay or not? The safety and the health of our staff, that, that was our priority. Next thing, we cleaned up the office. That was so important. We actually did a disinfection at 12 midnight and we locked down the entire place. And we also made sure the supervisors actually called all the employees sitting on the same floor not to come to work and also to monitor their health condition. So it was a uh, very prompt action taken because we do have colleagues coming back trying to retrieve laptops, charger, you know. So security barred their entry. My thought is, uh, of course, to him first, then come to me and how about my family? Because I sit next to him, I do not know what will be happen later on. Then, um, then I ask my family not near to me first. I go to the another room and my son is actually in another room. Until that on the next day, uh, I receive a call from the MOH. Then uh, the ambulance fetched me and sent me to Tan Tok Seng Hospital. Employee was literally fighting for his life in ICU and we were very worried for him. We did whatever we can you know, to support him and his family. One of his um, relatives actually was concerned around the disinfection of his house. They did not know what to do with it. We sent our disinfection team down to his house to make sure that we clean up his house as well. When he was still in the hospital fighting for his life, up on the tent when they pulled the tube out from me the day after I actually cried uh, because I thought that I had been given a second chance I understand that there was a lot of death uh, around the world and I have I could have been one of them happy because they could see that I could move my hand I am glad that my colleague Ben come back to work with us and uh, all my colleagues in this 20th floor are safe that is the most important <laughs> I am thankful that you know Singtel has a very solid BCP arrangement in place. When it happened, everything just fall into place. We know exactly what to do. The contact tracing form were, were there, and uh, all of us uh, take our respective actions. On the 13th, I got back my mobile phone, and then I saw one whole list of text messages from my colleagues. And HR has been texting me to get an update on my uh, condition and always there is a message to say that if you need any assistance, please let me know. Generally, all of them were more concerned about my well-being than uh, the inconvenience that they have to go through. I realised that I was uh, very fortunate and thank God for giving me back a life. Yeah. It is not something anybody wants, but we can help to break the circuit of this virus from spreading.